Hello everyone. Welcome to our ArcGIS Insights tutorial. My name is Anastasios and I am a higher education developer in the Education and Research Group at Esri Canada. What this tutorial will cover is an introduction of ArcGIS Insights and its purpose. The tutorial is split into two parts. Part 1, which is the video you are watching now, will cover how to integrate your own Python and R kernel environments in ArcGIS Insights. In addition, I will showcase some scripts that perform the same process that are written in Python, R, and both of these languages at the same time. Part 2 will delve into using ArcGIS Insights by applying some data science with your own Jupyter kernel environment. So what is ArcGIS Insights and why use it? Simply put, ArcGIS Insights is an interactive web-based data analytics application, meaning the application allows GIS users to explore spatial and non-spatial data. Whether it is a simple drag and drop and perform simple data visualizations, or perform more advanced data science through scripting. In a nutshell, ArcGIS Insights functionalities are to create, analyze and visualize, share, and administer content. Another cool thing about ArcGIS Insights is that you can perform some magic commands, which are several routine tasks that have been simplified to perform quickly and efficiently. So to do scripting and bring in your own environment, it is available only in ArcGIS Insights desktop app and ArcGIS Enterprise. If you only have ArcGIS Online, that option is not available. Now, there is often the debate of which programming language is better when doing data analytics, visualization, and science. Some say Python and others say R is better. While we can't say there are trade-offs between the two, the better question is why not adopt the best of both based on user familiarity? For instance, I would prefer to do data chunking and geospatial processes in Python, but prefer to do data visualization and advanced statistical analyses in R. Regardless, having both of these languages in your inventory enhances your user ArcGIS Insights experience. This includes the ability to do data cleaning and munging, custom data visualization, automating pipelines, converting to R slash pandas data frames and adding it to the data pane, connecting to remote database systems that would not be supported in Insights, perform machine and deep learning, and piping. Piping derives from the computer science term pipe, which is a technique for passing one program process to another. In our case, you can inject R code in Python or vice versa. This would come handy when you are familiar with some functions in one language and others in another language, and still want to run it as one script. With that said, let's proceed to the integration demo. In order to integrate your kernels in ArcGIS Insights, we assume you have already installed Anaconda and set up its environment variables. This process would take about 10 minutes. For the purpose of this demo, with Anaconda installed, we have to still do several steps in order to integrate our kernels into ArcGIS Insights. Here I provide a documentation as how. So first, let's go to the Anaconda prompt by going to Windows, go to Anaconda 3, then right click, and then let's just run this as administrator. So here's the command prompt. And what I'm gonna do is check out what environments I already have. So type in conda info ems, and you can see here that I have four environments. The base, which is the default and activated based on the asterisk. And I have three other ones, uh, one called dual kernels, my env, and then one that doesn't seem to have a name, but I've named it in palm detection, which I've done this in the in Esri's own Anaconda environment. That is why it's not recognized here. So to create your own environment, what you would have to do is type in this, conda, create n 
and then you can name whatever you want. I can say dual kernels and then set the Python version, which in this case I have Python 3.7. Another way to do this is let's say you already have your own environment and you would like to clone it for project based purposes. What you have to do is, con is type in conda create name dual kernels and then clone and then you pick an environment that you'd like to do that so let's say I would like to clone it based off of my end and then you hit enter but I won't do any of this as I have already done this before so instead what I'm going to do is activate the, the environment that I want to do this I would type in activate and then the name of your environment so dual kernels Next, what we'd have to do is install these packages on a one-time basis. These packages consist of the, of the Jupyter kernel gateway, which is what we need uh, in order to connect to ArcGIS Insights, and then several data science packages for both Python and R. And also, we would like to install the ArcGIS API for Python. I won't do this as because this would take over 20 minutes. So assuming you have already these installed, what we're going to do is now test it out and see if both kernels work. So I'm going to go to my project directory and change it. And then type in Jupyter Notebook, which is a web-based application for you to test out your, your Python and R scripts. I'm going to go here where it says New. You can see these are the kernels that I have and hit Python 3. And it seems like it's ready to go. We can also check to see if it works in R. And that is also ready to go as well. So that means we can do some data science in both Python and R. So if we go back to the home page, I have three sample scripts, one for R, one for Python, and then one that does both Python and R simultaneously. These three scripts do the same process by, by taking the average traffic value of each loop detector on the Highway 401. So I'll open these and let it run in the background. So first, let's run the Python sample. By going to kernel, we start and run all. And just let it process in the background. So that's finished. Next, let's do the same thing, but in R. And restart it and run all. And this one is also complete. And then what we'll do is go to the Python and R sample. And what you can see here is I've actually imported the RPy2 package and several others that for more specific, such as the dplyr package, and let that run as well. Okay, so that one is also done. And what I'm going to do is compare the CSV files to ensure that this has gone correctly. So this one is done in both Python and R at the same time. This one was done in Python. And you can see so far the values are correct and, and matching. And we'll also import the one that's done in R. And check it out. These, all three of them have been working. So this is to show you flexibility to do in Python, R, or even both at the same time. But now we're, we still have a few more steps to do. So now what we have to do is go back to the documentation and on this part here make sure you have OpenSSL installed in your Conda environment and then you, what you have to do is create a folder called Insights GW which I have here and then you're gonna have to copy and paste all this content and here you would have to re replace the host name based on the, the URL of your machine, of your local machine. 
And then after that, once you copy and paste this into the Insights G GWCNF, which I have right here, and if I open it, you can see I have all the information that I need to do. You save it and close, and then you go to the command prompt, and then change the directory to the folder Insights GW, wherever it's located. And then what we have to do is copy this command here is really long and what this does is it creates a key and certificate file that way it's to ensure a secure network so then here what you would have to do is change your host name to the URL of your local machine and then you just hit run I won't do this I already have created it and you can see that right here in my file then what would you have to do is close the anaconda prompt Next, you would have to go to Windows and type in Manage Computer Certificates. And then go to Open Trusted Root Certificates. Click on here, where it says Certificates. Right click and then do All Tasks and then you Import. And then what you would do is click on next and then import the CRT file that you have created earlier, which if we go back in here and just click on that. Then once when you're done, you have to go back to the command prompt. And then type in ipconfig slash flush DNS to just restart the whole process. Lastly, what you have to do is go to the advanced Windows firewall. So you go to start Windows Defender Firewall, go to advanced settings. And then you add in both inbound and outbound rules. So you click here, and then you put the port, which is 999, for both inbound and outbound rules. Then that's done. I already have done in this case. Then what I want to do is go to the command prompt, which I have it here in Anaconda. And then I want to do is just activate my environment again, because we have the essential packages. And then just type in this command here, which is this. And then replace the ones that says host name to your URL and for the host key as well. And then just hit enter and let it run. So for me, I got an error, but and that's because I didn't have it in the right directory. So I have to, you have to make sure that that is there. And then just hit enter. And now we're ready. So what we have to do is go to our browser and then type in HTTPS and then your local machine. Um, if you are, you can be local host, the port and then slash API and then you see it has the version of this. So that meant it's done correctly. So what we have to do is now launch ArcGIS Insights if you have the desktop app or just go to Enterprise. Then what I can do is go to Workbooks and I can just create a new workbook right here. Here you can add some data, but right now we're not going to do that. And then what you have to do is go right here in this icon where it says scripting. Click on that, and then I type in the URL of my local machine. With its port. And hit connect, and all set. Now we can try Python. And we can, to test this out, that works, import pandas as pd. Let that run. That seemed to work. We can swap to r. 
and let's say library deplier and also let that run that is it you are now ready to perform advanced data science and analytics in ArcGIS Insights. For more details on how to integrate your kernels in ArcGIS Insights, especially in a Docker container, check out Esri Inc.'s GitHub page here. The next tutorial will actually do some data science demonstration in ArcGIS Insights in both Python, R, and both of these languages at once. Lastly, check out our Higher Education Resource Finder, and here you can filter by a certain theme.